What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Apple CarPlay on Android? Blasphemy. All right, so maybe you've got an Android head unit like I do, this aftermarket stereo that I installed in my B7 Audi A4. And one of the things that was a huge factor in me picking this up is that I saw guys running Apple CarPlay on here. And the reality is I have an iPhone and I'll tell you what, Apple CarPlay is awesome. So what I wanna show you here is that, uh, just a kind of quick look at it, because the thing you need is this dongle. And I ordered this and it wasn't super expensive. As you can see, it kind of looks like any big dongle. It's a USB port and then it has like this large end here. I'm not sure what's all in here, but this is the magic piece. And this thing was not super expensive, like 30 bucks. It plugs into the USB port that comes out of this stereo. If you have one on the front, I'm assuming it would work there, but I've got it running behind uh, my center console here. Then you just use any lightning connector to plug into here on the cable that you'll plug into your phone. Now, I also want to show you that right in here, I have a TF card. I've already gone ahead and put that in. That uh, SD card or TF card came with the dongle and i just want to show it to you here i'm going to go here because i put it in there and then i went to my file explorer on android and here it is and you can see here that there were some basically apps you're kind of side loading an app and so what it's you're installing is actually called auto play box i guess and you can see it has like the apple carplay type of logo on it now the issue is uh, I couldn't find that in the App Store. Maybe it is, or in the Google Play Store, but whatever, it's there, and now it works. And what ends up happening is you get this, like, autoplay logo right there. Now, it actually does autoplay. You can actually change that in the settings, but I want to show you here. I'm going to unlock my iPhone, a little face recognition, and I'm just going to plug it in here. See if we can show you everything while I'm doing it. And you can see we get this connecting screen, which I don't really recall if that's uh, very Apple-ish. But right here, what we have is what looks like, to me, totally Apple CarPlay. And we have what looks like just standard, out-of-the-box Apple CarPlay, which is pretty awesome. We've got some icons. I've got a couple pages of them here, things that are compatible with Apple CarPlay, presumably. Get the Siri button down here, so if I hit that. What time is it? It's 6.39 p.m. Pretty awesome. I can text people, use those types of voice commands. I can go up here to maps. I can put in different destinations, which is pretty awesome. And you know, that absolutely works, which is kind of crazy to me. To the main screen, hit music. We don't have the power, but we never say never. And so really, it's everything that I wanted, including you know, my audiobooks and you my uh, podcast app downcast and all of these things and so that is really kind of amazing because the official apple carplay head units are pretty expensive and this one looked like a factory fit now i will say uh, again somehow they're emulating it somehow between this hardware and the software they're getting it to work and so i don't know how long it will be before maybe uh, it doesn't work or is not supported anymore so that is kind of the risk However, on the flip side, I know that Apple CarPlay is now going wireless to head units that support it, but they have to have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Now, this unit has both of those, so it's potentially that if they could emulate this, they could also connect my phone wirelessly to Apple CarPlay, which would almost be a huge game changer too. So pretty awesome. Again, this head unit was about 250 bucks. This dongle here, which is giving me Apple CarPlay-like functionality, is only 30 bucks. So I am really, really impressed with it. Check it out. If you want to pick out this particular dongle, I will put a link to this one in the description that gives you the TF card and the dongle itself. But couldn't be more happy with it. Peter Von Panda, out.